right. chill out. Like, just say what you yeah, gotta say. Yeah. Say, okay, it wasn't for me. This is not what I liked. Or, and then move on. Like, you like it cool. Ab said like, it the best. He said, stupid. hate when your OG supposed to be a G-O-D. This ending mm -hmm. makes the king cool to feeling like Toby. Ooh. Oh my God. Fellas, 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 how are we doing today, man? No label to pod. What do? Episode 17, I believe. Quarantine vibes. Quarantine vibes. Everybody, I hope everybody's staying Rona free, man. For real, for real. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't bring the Rona home. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the crib unless you gotta go to work, man. Stay or go to your mom's crib. Stay home. How y'all boys? How y'all boys feeling, man? What y'all been? What y'all been bumping lately? Um, this week, man. shit. That J Electronica, that's nice. still. <laughs> um, what you call it? Don, Don Tolliver, Uzi for sure. Chops Gambino, he dropped his new album today. That shit look crazy. Yeah. I, I, I'm like I was a little upset when I missed it the first time, but I, I'm not missing it this time. I gotta add that to like. Oh, you mean he posted it on his website? Yeah, he put it on his website for like a yeah. day, for like a few hours, and they took that shit off. I was, I was, I felt away. Yeah. I was like, oh hell, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to listen to it. I downloaded it though last night. I loved it though. Yeah, no, it's that tough. Shit. Yeah. It's different. It's very different. It's very futuristic. Hell yeah. yeah. But that, that's what he do though. Like he yeah. he really Not like yet. I remember when he dropped uh what was it? Uh what's that Forever My Love? What's that yeah. on? Wait, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like that was when I first heard singles off it, I'm like, okay, where is Shadows Gambino at though? <laughs> like when is he gonna when is he gonna start performing? Like mm -hmm. but he it it pushed everything into like that was a moment. That was a moment for the culture type yeah. shit. So yeah, he he that boy. And the track list then looks kind of weird. What is it? Timestamps or? Yeah, they said it's just timestamps. So I'm assuming that's, that's the and day they, he recorded it or something. Yeah, it's like the day, uh, the date, and then the, there's some that have like 42, 48 though. Mm -hmm. Like you know, some is that military numbers. time. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Uh, only thing I saw regarding the titles was just saying timestamps. And then there's only two tracks that are titled algorithm and. What's the other one? Algorithm and um, I think I think it's timestamp. <laughs> Dion, did you listen to it? Yes, sir. It was How do you feel about it? Like David, very futuristic, different vibes, just a new wave. It was it was good. I only listened to it like twice, but from when I heard it, I was rocking with it heavy. How many tracks? It had twelve. Twelve. Yeah. And the other title um, I was thinking of was Time, Algorithm and Time. So why do you think he released it on a, on his website first? Instead of just releasing to DSPs, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, etc. Bro, he's a different dude. I don't know. Yeah. He, that's just how he is. Yeah. yeah. He's always been posting like weird stuff on his website and shit like that. He's like yeah. Frank Ocean. Yeah, it wasn't like, with stuff like that too, it, it gives him more... Uh, I don't say leverage. Like I say, it, it definitely gives you more leverage because if you bring in traffic to your website, they already seeing your merch. They seeing everything. Like it's only available where, boom. They don't. They're going to go there. Period. So, like, cause I know, like, when I first heard it, when it first dropped, like, I didn't know. I'm like, what the fuck is this website? Where is this website? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking yeah. it up. By the time I get there, the shit was taken down. Mm -hmm. Then I, I was like, fuck. I gotta check this website. I double check. Now it's a comment on the website. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like he's bringing traffic to his website. And it ended up on the DSPs, but it's like, I mean, it's gonna get there eventually. But like, if he had like maybe like the first week exclusive, like boom, here it's on my website. Mm -hmm. Like that, as an artist, you should definitely keep that shit. How long was it on it? Two days. Yeah, it was like a few days, right? Oh, man. Days. It was a couple days. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. hot. I missed. Like, I was really mad at myself. Like, I, like I didn't jump on it because I thought it was gonna still be up there. So, but that 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 makes people like, okay, boom. When it's available, I'm going to get it. Like I'm going to go <clears> to <throat> your website. Like I'm not going to though to know uh, Apple Music. It's not that accessible. So, yeah, and you said that it. You said that releasing it on the website would give him leverage. So who was he signed to, or is he signed? Uh, look on the bottom of the. Uh, cause like my 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 Apple Music gonna go slow. 
I think it might be. But if you look at the bottom, it's, it's saying at the bottom. I think it might be RCA. Yeah. That's what I think. Is yeah. It RCA? Mm -hmm. Yeah, RCA. Yeah, and it's and it depends on like if and what capacity. So it's a contract year coming up. <laughs> it could be. It could be because he said contract. he said it was, this is gonna be his last album album. So. Word. He yeah he been said he been said oh, this is gonna be his last. I hope album. this. Well, I don't think this would be it, man. I hope not. I mean, I didn't listen to it yet, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, not naturally, we don't want him to like stop making music. Nice. Shit, but I say like, if he got distribution through RCA, yeah, they're probably gonna be on shit like, nah, nah, we have to release it for you type shit. So he probably, yeah. he probably had to take it down on some label issues type shit. But or or maybe they did that to give it better promotion, because you know, if you release it and then people are talking about it a little bit. That it's only up on the website for two days yeah, and then so now like the people who have listened to it they're spreading the word word of mouth mm -hmm. and then now the other people are looking forward to it so when it drops on the dsps they're gonna go listen true and the people who listen to it before are gonna go listen again that's a fact yeah true it, it, it works like it, it low-key worked for both of them like it worked for childish and it worked for uh rca and the streaming services all that so yeah it was a it was it was a good play not a, what else did y'all listen to this week? The weekend, man. The weekend. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I want. I want to hold up on that so we can get around. Man. Yeah. No. Nah, I, I got. I got some stuff to say about the weekend album. I like. All of us for sure. But um. <laughs> so I've been listening to. I've been listening to hella like, just songstresses, like the R and B. Cause we about to make, do the R and B women's playlist. Oh yeah. So I was yeah. like, let me get in tune and see what I'm gonna put on there. Using R and B quarantine yeah. vibes. I feel, that. I, feel that. I feel that. Especially in the morning. But now I was listening to um, Ari, both of her projects. So the first one, yeah. You know I'm not talking about that. No, nah, I'm not. Just for the people. Yeah. <laughs> for the people. For the people. Um, yeah, Ari, both of her projects. I was listening to. Damn, I'm drawing a blank now. Oh, SZA, Control. Mm -hmm. And I listened to Z. I listened to Kehlani, Kehlani's first project. Mm. Yeah, that drink's tough. Yeah, it is I tough. To that in a while. I don't think I ever listened to a full Kehlani project. Really? Yeah. I, her, what's, what was her last one? The one where she's like looking in the mirror on the cover. Released last year. I can't remember the name, but that one I didn't really care for at first. But then I just listened to it again and I actually liked it a lot. So it's grown on me. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kalani, right, Kalani's definitely so right. That's why I've been listening to Kalani, Kalani. Too. I'm listening to Matt Herbo too, yeah. <laughs> and Uzi. Oh, Money Man dropped again, bro. Dropped again? Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, you ain't listen to him? Just nah, I ain't know. Oh, uh, nah, Money Man <laughs> dropped again, bro. Yeah, you know it's about called State of Emergency. You know I'm about to pump that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pump that shit all week. He said. Money Man. But yeah, what you been listening to, Dave? Bro, yeah, I, I named a lot. Um, other than the weekend though too, um, on top of all those, the internet. Mm -hmm. I know I played a lot more. Um, a lot, <laughs> a lot for sure. But mainly the weekend, the weekend for sure. Mm -hmm. He's been a heavy spotlight for me. Yeah, bro. I've been playing that Benny single too. Oh, oh I did. Yeah. Yeah. He dropped a video for that too. Or did he? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was that shit was kinda hard. I, oh, I ain't watched I don't know if it was in Buffalo or, or what, but it, it had some it had some good vibes in that shit. We'll be surprised. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they just signed uh uh Shane Noir. Yo, did they yeah. sign some other shorty? Yeah, that's Shane Noir. Griselda? Yeah. Nah, no it's not, bro. Yes it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think so, bro. They might have signed two people then, because the girl I'm talking about, she not Shay Noir. Right. I'm about to go on her gram. Y'all can, can discuss How many that. followers she got? She got like a couple hundred thousand? I believe so. Yes, bro. I wanna, what's it? I'm going to look her up and then I'll show you. We'll yeah, because I, I threw her. I want to say I threw, I threw this shirt that they signed on the playlist. And I'm like, I'm 90% sure that's her. Nah, see, that's not who I'm talking about, bro. I know who Shade Noir is. She's from Buffalo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this girl, actually, this girl's from Buffalo too, but she's not Shade Noir. But yeah, talk Ooh. about something. I'm gonna look it up. She I'm gonna look poet? it up, bro. Huh? She a poet or a rapper? <laughs> no, she's a. I'm gonna look it up, bro. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, <laughs> so you, you said you listen to the new Benny and. Yeah, new Benny, The Weeknd for sure. Um, Don Tolliver shit. The Childish Gambino. Um, I fuck with Yachty's new single. 
the track. Mm -hmm. Oprah. Yeah. Bank account. Oprah Bank account. Uh, her name is Armani Caesar. That's a dope name. Caesar. That's not for Armani real, Caesar? Yeah. That's a dope name. So yeah. Yeah, sing that shit. That's not fire too. <laughs> now she can rap too. Armani Caesar. Yeah. Why is that song so good? She's she's from Buffalo apparently. I've never seen her before. I think she's older than me though. Oh, she's that's dope. She's dope. 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 Like, Let me see. Let me see. Let me yeah, see. she just recently signed to them as well. Big congrats. Big congrats. Oh, that's, 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 I'm thinking Shane Dwyer then. Yeah, that's not Shane Dwyer. Nah, no, 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 no. This, yeah, this is the chick I was thinking about. Thinking oh, you thought she was Shane Dwyer? Who was Shane Dwyer? Well, who am I thinking about? Is she from the Bulls or something like that? She, yeah, she's from Western New York, definitely. I'm not sure exactly where. Oh, uh, she her too. Shout out to her. <laughs> but yeah, she's a large but I, Like this shit, yeah. This is what I, this is what I was thinking about. Yeah, this, that's her. Yeah, that's Armani Caesar. Yeah, cause she definitely from the city. I didn't know she was. She went to PA. She went to PA. Fucking yo, PA had all the shorties, bro. Yes, bro. I was so mad when I left that school. That shit was uh, traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah, we can get into the weekend album if y'all want. Let me, let me, I get it, because I ain't really listening to nothing new, for real, for real. I, I've been just trying to digest, like, this Don Tolliver joint. You ever yeah. been listening to Jay? Jay Electronica? I tried to go back to it, but it wasn't, it wasn't wow. the mood, it wasn't the mood I was in. Wow. I'm very, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked. Nah, like. I figured that'd be a top one for you right now. I haven't, yeah, yeah, I haven't gone back to it. I haven't gone back to it since Sunday when I listened to it. Like, it's like, it's dope. But it's like, I like I have to be. Isn't that your guy? Yeah, I rock with. I rock with. Uh, I rock with Jay Elect. But it was like, it's like a moment. It's like a moment in time. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, that's that's when like I'm like. Like you said with. in the other, uh, like it's a political statement. Yeah, it's like, like a political, like political statement. Like yeah. I'm not always trying to be on my political shit. Yeah. Especially like like now like everybody in the house like I've been living with my brother. So he like he like, listening to future turn up shit like so I've been in like my turn up yeah, shit like that's, that's what I've been listening to like you can't go outside anyway so like shit might as well turn up in the crib <laughs> like I ain't about to be listening to just like all conscious rap political rap all like all like eh. yeah <laughs> yeah you gotta spread it around that's a fact yeah uh, so yeah like I said I haven't listened to a J Electronica joint since last Sunday either mm -hmm. but I actually I have been playing Ghost of Soldier Slim. I've been playing that song, that's the only one I've been playing. Though. Yeah. Um, so yeah, The Weeknd's album. What you think, Dave? I know that's your guy, man. Bro, you Big know, Weeknd fan. Bro. Me and this guy to my right. <laughs> Huge Weeknd fans for sure. Um, amazing. Th to me, this is like his best like work so far. Person yeah? Person oh, better, than, uh, uh, better than the trilogy, bro? I mean, trilogy, trilogy's already like, that's grandfather then, but like, oh my God, I just feel like Sonically, <laughs> in this Sonically. like just every like the feel of it, I feel like it's just it hit home, bro. Like for me personally, just as my personal favorite. Not to say it's his best work, like yeah. in general for him, but just for me personally, like on a personal favorite, this is my personal favorite work. So far. Yo, so I was gonna say half like about halfway through to so the first eight songs. When I heard the first eight. I was like, yo, this might be my favorite weekend album. Yeah. Like like off of first listen, I would say. So off of because normally weekend pro projects they grow on me, except for the house booms. Mm -hmm. That joint just hit automatically. Yeah. But yeah. But I I don't really care for Binding Lights. I didn't care for it when it came out, because that's like his more poppy stuff. Yes. Yeah, I'm was more of a fan of his R and B yeah. stuff. Uh so Blinding Lights, that kind of slowed down the album for me. In your eyes, I like that. Save your tears. No, actually, I think In Your Eyes, I didn't care for either. What? In Your Eyes is crazy. Oh, let me see. In Your Eyes is crazy. Oh, no, no, I did. Like, I didn't care for Save Your Tears. Mm -hmm. And then I downloaded the rest of them. Yeah, but yeah, Snow Child from fucking, bro, Alone Again to yeah. Snow Child, bro, flawless. Yeah, crazy, for sure. First faith, <laughs> faith, too. Faith is tough. Yeah, Um. faith. I like, repeat I like, After Me, the interlude, that yeah. interlude, that is tough. I like um, I like the escape from LA. It was just too long, bro. I like really? it. that. Really? was like five thirty. Yeah, that's like yeah, one that's of my favorite. That's, favorite. that's, that's what I like. Once it got to the four minute mark, I was like, ah, right, you can, you can go to the next song. <laughs> you kind of <you laughs> dragged it out for me. Yeah, but nah, I definitely like the project. 
Yeah, I love the project, bro. Like, it's definitely a personal favorite for me. Yeah, I rock with it. It's like I, I need more time. I need more time with it because yeah. like his songs, like it almost like distract you, like because his content is always his shit. Like yeah. he got bars, yeah. so it's like I need to, like, I need time to digest everything you're saying. Tell yeah. me right now, like from what I take from it, bro, he's he was. Whew. He be dealing with a lot of drugs. <laughs> yeah. he be with a lot of drugs. He be going bro. through, and it's like and that's his. That's his. That's like his clutch for sure. With um, you know, when it comes to growing within his relationships with women, I feel like that's definitely a, a key component that is not hindering his relationships, but it's definitely a deciding factor on where it goes. Type shit, you know, I, 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 um, with whatever woman he's involved with, and I love that he can make it. To a to a to a sense to where it's beautiful though you know what yeah. I mean? it's not like where you feel it and it's like sorrow and it's you know yeah he's evolved like, into that too because before it was kind of sorrow and yeah, dark that's, that's yeah. when I that's when I, I mean, listen to him yeah like, yeah because yeah. like like, he still has that dark feeling on this but it's just he's just, ah, I don't know the beat like, 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 yeah. like, yeah. the production is looking like because like was like, Metro on it Metro was on I, I know Metro did he did Heartless and he did yeah he did Heartless I know that. And then the um, producers from who did the score for Uncut Gems too. I know mm -hmm. that they were all over this. Yeah, it was one dude. It was one name that popped up a lot on there. I remember because uh, I looked at the credits uh, before it came out. It was one dude in there who popped up. His name was on there a lot. But um, is he still with Bella Hadid? No, they broke up. So he's single. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh man, that's why. Well, I mean, <laughs> public, publicly, publicly. Yeah. He, who knows? Yeah, but that, that's know. that's why it was hitting. Like, it's. He definitely. Metro did escape from LA. Oh, where? Yeah. That's fun. That's tough. That's fun. That's tough. That's good. And it actually had the weekend has production credits on every song too. No, mm -hmm. as he should. He know his song. Like, yeah, like. Oh, Metro did. He did on um, Escape from LA, Heartless, Fade. So that's three tracks in a row right there. <laughs> Fade is tough. I think those might be the only three though. Yeah, like that's this album is like it's it's super dope, but I don't want to like I don't want to uh, what's the what's the word like short I don't want to cut it short like a really like appreciating this joint because like I, when I get weekend projects I I have to really sit with them yeah because this nigga lived to be then he be saying some real ass shit oh, yeah and it's just like damn so and they didn't have the lyrics available to view on Apple Music either. Mm -hmm. I was looking because exactly. some of the stuff I, I couldn't really understand what he was saying, so I was looking forward to the lyrics like when I went to it, but wasn't there except for a couple songs like the singles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Like I, I always get excited like like listening to the weekend to see where he we're seeing where he gonna go creatively like his nice. visuals and everything. His whole rollout was dope as hell. Like yeah, and it's like That's... his whole the per, the persona he made for this project yes. it fits very well. So it's like. I, I may not necessarily like uh, agree or, or just like know what that feels like, but I try to put myself in the shoes of the not necessarily just the weekend, but the character he was trying to. Yeah. So like that's that's what like helped me appreciate it and just like like no, nah, I like this deserves my time to really sit down and understand what he's trying to tell me right now. Yeah. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So how do you think the after hours title and the theme? And like you know the images that you say he used for a roll on how do you think that played into like the track list? Do you think it, do you think it really fit as far as Hell yeah. that song that title track is fire? Yeah, yeah. I, I I look at it like I look at it like it was a, like a think of a rich dude and who's been in Vegas who been in Vegas for years and just seeing like everything that happens in this album happened between like two a.m. and like six a.m. Mm -hmm. Like all the drugs, all the crazy shit, all the heartbreak, oh, all that shit. All that shit happened between that fucking window. Yeah, that's and a great like, point. That's a fact. Bro. Yeah, and it's like it, it, even in the heartless video was do like at the at the craft table, high, yeah. just running around through the city of lights, like wildin'. And it's just like shit fucked up. But it's like, nah, like this this is this is dude life. Like this mm -hmm. is his real life. It's not a bad day. Like for most people, yeah, like this is just a regular. Like, like nah, this is his thing's life. Mm -hmm. And he made an album like about that window of time where all the crazy shit, all the heartbreak, all the drugs, all the fuckery. Like yeah. I, I fuck with I, I fuck with you being able to like take me there without me being there. Facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think he did a great job like as far as presenting the idea. Very organ very organized with how he presented it, honestly. Yeah. Like 
even with having a short film too with it, that mm -hmm. was genius, man, genius. So only five minutes too, like mm -hmm. straight to the point, you know. It was a play, yeah, and it was a playoff of um the movie. I want to say it's called Loathing in Las Vegas. Fear and Loathing. Yeah, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Like it plays off of that. Yeah. So it's like Johnny Depp. I I, I I I watched. I tried to watch the whole thing. Uh, I don't really like. I remember watching like the beginning and like parts in the middle. And shit. Yeah, I can tell that. I, that's funny you say that. Yeah, like if you, you see nothing in the video. Mm -hmm. What is it about? Um, it's like this reporter. He's like in Vegas doing mad drugs. Mm -hmm. It's like based off um, that Hunter S. Thompson book, but Johnny Depp played the dude, and they like just tripping the whole movie. They don't know, like <laughs> doing every drug. Yeah, they do every like, drug. They just, just driving, driving through fucking Vegas, like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that does fit right in. Then. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, so favorite tracks. Uh, mine. Somebody, said, anybody. Mine is the. What's the What's the first one? Right, hey, mine. The first one. Uh, Alone again. Alone again. That joint. Um. Uh, Escape from LA. Yeah. Um. I say like heartless is just like that. I fuck with that. that. I, I really don't like to include the singles. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I know yeah, I don't. But I do yeah. like heartless a lot. Heartless yeah. is hard. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I got some more on there, but I just need more time with it. Like, mm -hmm. like it's gonna that them joints may not be my favorites after I listen full listen to all these joints. Facts. So, yeah, right now them is my shits. Price. Yeah, I got <clears throat> after hours. I got the uh, repeat after me interlude. And um, escape from LA. Word, word. Yeah, that's tough. What'd you say yours was, Dave? Right, uh, repeat after me, Hello, um, Faith, um, and then escape from LA, for sure. I'd say top three, yeah. I would say mine are. Snow Child is definitely my favorite. Dang, I forgot about Snow Child too. Snow, Snow Child, Child is too. tough. Yeah. Snow Child. Um, it's mean. <laughs> Snow Child probably scared to live, hardest to love, and alone again. And I like until I bleed out. I think that was a great outro for this album. Intro Ooh. outros, yeah, flawless, bro. They fit. Mm -hmm. Od definitely fit. Oh yeah, shout OD. out to the weekend, man. Yeah. So is it? Yo, party gotta come with it, man. He, I feel like, I feel like. <laughs> so that's next week. Oh yeah. yeah. My, my apologies. I thought, yeah, I thought this album was coming that, out yeah. April thirteenth, but I think I was thinking of the Thunder Thundercats, mm. the Thundercats album. I think so Jack party is next week. So party is next party's week. Next week. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. So yeah. Yeah. I, I think, team music, man. Yeah, right. I think he could. I think he could top. Like I know they was talking about like a little. They had a little yeah. head to head. I think his album could be better. But I don't know if they really have a head to head. They I just, don't. I just think Joe and them sing in that area. I think they do. But you would have never thought that Joe and them being constantly. Uh, that's weird. literally just Joe Biden. Yeah, and they do. I don't think. Yeah. I don't. Just because they're from this, Toronto. They both was in the same camp at one point. True. They both was. And one kind of broke off, one of them didn't. They're both songwriters. And y'all both from the same city. I like think that. Party's a better songwriter. But they both, nonetheless, they're both songwriters and Party want to be an artist too. So, you think so? Hell yeah, he wouldn't be really surprised if he didn't want to be an artist. And I don't think they're from the same city either. Yeah, but I don't think he cares about being like that if, big pop star like The Weeknd is. No, no, from, he he, he complains, he's complaining about not getting, being able to like release all his best songs because he gave them to other people. Yeah, but as an artist, obviously you want to release your music. That doesn't mean you want that big spotlight though. You just want he to might. Appreciate I think he might. You Why want to be he? appreciated for your art. If you watch, I mean, if you put it on music, you want your songs to be hits, though. Yeah, definitely. But he doesn't want to be in the spotlight all the time like The Weeknd seems to be. You could just tell from you his know. personality. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, Weekend I don't, is I don't definitely an artist first, for sure. For sure. I, it's just the party has so many different attributes. Do you think I mean, you know, so does The Weeknd, but party's actual, other attributes are so strong as well that he has to, I he knows he has to delve into those. I well. feel like, nonetheless, there's going to be a sibling rivalry. Like y'all from y'all y'all basically in the same area. Like this thing is popping about it. I'm 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 gonna be feeling the kind of like I want to be his popping too. Like I'm ha yes I'm happy for my my brother my my co person whatever. Yeah. But I I got music too. <laughs> you know what I mean? They but, definitely them person. They probably have that type of like feelings, of course. For but sure. it shouldn't be looked like that. Like 
because they're both just crazy. I mean, as, if we want to talk about artist wise, obviously the weekend is by far over party. No question. But then we say it. But oh, 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 what do you mean? Irish numbers wise. wise, numbers oh, wise. Numbers okay. one straight. I'm not saying he is better. To the artist, public. But he is he's, better. He's right, wise. artist like. He's just known to be. He's an artist first. Like I said, Weekend is an artist first. Party is a great artist, but he can be able to produce at a very high level. He can be able to mm -hmm. songwrite at a very high level as well. Um, Isn't that part of being an artist though? Yeah, but I'm saying those are different branches that you could just just be a songwriter. There are people out there that are just songwriters and they make their checks just off of that. Yeah, true. So. Um, that's how Bellinger was for a minute. Shout out to Bellinger, man. He, he don't be, get enough love, bro. He be, he don't. Because he don't. He, 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 he was he was last year, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, he put a lot of music last yeah, year. Yeah, that right. cup of season three, I'm still playing that heavy. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Facts. <laughs> um, so, The Weeknd and Party, they were both, hold on, what, they were both heavily co-signed by Drake, signed mm -hmm. to him at one point. Um, mm -hmm. what, part, what project was Party heavily? But he had heavy writing credits and stuff on because the weekends was take care right mm -hmm. was parties views no parties was um nothing was the same word i think so no. two, two best projects oh, you feel yeah. me <laughs> and nothing was the same my favorite drink project my take care of mine it makes sense so all right so how how important do you feel it is to get a co-sign by a major artist like in the game coming in whether it's a repost on like instagram a shout out, they hop on one of your songs at one point. Because Drake is known to do that. For sure. How important do you think that is for upcoming artists? It's, it's monumental for that artist. It's definitely going to be, you know, beneficial. Nothing but beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. um, and just growing more of a fan base. And your fan base just getting popping and getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But you don't really need it to become a successful artist, I feel like, or be a buzzing artist. You don't need it. Mm -hmm. But if you get that, that's a blessing for sure. It's a blessing from God. What you think? I mean, yeah, for sure. It's, it can only help, but sometimes it can put them into that box of just being known for that song. True, you know true. I mean? So, true. I mean, if that happens, you just gotta, how I look at it, you just gotta be ready to just keep making music and not live off of that one. Right. Yeah, you gotta be ready to capitalize off of that. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, it's it's important. It's 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 very it's very important because like a lot of times like it's hard to pick up steam in your own city. Mm -hmm. So it's like when when you get recognized by a big artist, it's kind of like you kind of get that validation from their fan base and your city. It's mm -hmm. like oh, people are recognizing this and da da da. So. That actually a lot, but definitely it's like important that you capitalize off it. Cause yeah, shout you out on IG, but how you going? What you just gonna be happy because you got a name? Somebody, you know what I mean? Like right. you gonna be happy because somebody said your name, right. or like are you going? Now you got all this attention. Oh yeah, boom! I'm dropping my single. Right. Yeah. Boom! I'm dropping my my project. Oh, That's why you should be working every right. day. Cause you should you, yeah. you should just have stuff in the tuck ready to go. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, just in case your opportunity comes or really? whatever, right. just get a repost. Meek is known to do that a lot, shout people out. Um, Drake is known to hop on people's songs. Yeah, just keep that hunger, like yeah. Betty told you, always stay sharp. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the biggest key. You ain't gotta get ready. You ain't gotta get ready if you always ready. Right, right. So how do you, because some people, they've gotten the cosigns and they didn't they weren't able to really capitalize off of it they just let kind of let that song overshadow them like a black boy jb on look alive he wasn't mm. able i mean he he had a good run after that for about that. yes eight months a year but it's just an ability so why do you think that is though i can't think of other ones right now at this moment a lot of, I, personally i feel like because it's a lot of times like We'll be able to get that a lot. It's easy to get that spark, but it's hard to maintain that that charge. Like uh, if you don't have this solid sure. team around you, it's gonna be hard. Like you can't do everything yourself. Yeah. So you have to have all the you have to have people around you, and you have to have a good network in order to make that make that attention work for you. Cause so my boy JB started a whole way just with a dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Facts. Prior, even prior to Drake hopping on Look Alive though. But, but then hopping but, on Look Alive brought attention to all the other stuff he was doing. Yeah, but then the question is something like, okay, are you getting, are you getting your money? Are you getting money off of it? 
Nah, because Fortnite is robbing. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite so it's like, hey man, two million. Yeah. So then it's like, okay, how do I, how do I, monetize mm. this? Mm-hmm. How do I monetize this? Like this dance, this. It's really like it's that's that's the hard part. You know what I'm saying? Making the music and getting the attention, get getting popping is easy, but turning that attention into money, that's a whole different thing. Like you mm-hmm. make. I want to say that's easy though. Huh? Getting attention isn't easy. Yeah, that's easy. You said. Are you saying like it's, it's all? It's, I mean, it, it happens. It happens more often than you monetizing. Okay. Yeah. Like money yeah, how to yeah, monetize. Right. I don't mean TikTok you. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, yeah, on TikTok, yeah, I get, I get thirty thousand yeah. views. Yeah. How do I turn thirty thousand views? Yeah, what into, I was about to say is it depends on it depends on what type of attention you're talking about. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Because so, you can get like a TikTok video blowing up, but is that gonna bring attention to your music? That, yeah, you know what I'm saying right. you gotta have that. It's it gotta be translatable, and that's that's one thing. Like you, like we was talking about uh, Guapcorn. Like that's what that's partially what that's about. It's about being able to monetize that your influence monetizing how much attention you're getting like throughout just through a dance everybody doing this fucking dance all up yo go check this out oh y'all, y'all doing that oh that's popping like what what y'all doing mm-hmm. and this is like all that attention oh oh we, we doing this because we buy Fendi belts or maybe you, you should be wearing your merch you should be wearing your merch while you're doing that dance you shouldn't be doing that dance period unless you're wearing your, your shirt yeah, like you know what i'm saying and like and that then okay boom we need to buy a shirt and then like that's how your value as an artist like will grow and shit like that so it's definitely it's definitely important to just like learn how to capitalize and i i call it kind of like holding a charge like you, you mm-hmm. got that attention now keep it yeah, hold exactly. on to it how do yeah. you do it and that's that's a huge 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 factor yeah and i would say for the cosine part too it also depends on who get who's giving you that cosign but, whether people are really going to pay attention and look into you or they just look at it as oh so and so hop in his verse he snapped that's all i care about you know mm-hmm. like if drake hops on your song or you're on drake's song you're going to get a lot of attention like i'm sure the um one cat is now that was on chicago freestyle but can't remember his name at the moment Gideon? yeah give you when we thought was sample mm-hmm. so i'm sure he's getting a lot of attention now uh yeah like yeah. whenever me shout out an artist or repost an artist i look into a heavy he put me on a Roddy Rich, Cowboy, um, Lil Snoop, R.I.P., and yeah. a whole, whole lot of other artists. Mm-hmm. So it also depends on who's giving that coach on. Facts. What's the name? Uh, Russ, rapper Russ. He brought he brought up a good point on. Uh, it was on IG. He posted. He was just like, now is the perfect time. Like this is the time where you should uh, have your catalog. As a, you should own your catalog, so that way you can make money by sending that home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's like that. That translates to just being able to sit back and not do nothing do nothing like we, we talked about having like with no label conversations and it's just like being able to not have to work hard for your money yeah, like it's already yeah, made yeah. and having if you got a catalog once you get the cosign from a drake boom now these people oh i have a whole catalog to go to from your music mm-hmm. not they ain't no it's a project ain't just one project i can binge go 11 projects exactly. oh i'm i'm a fan how do i support you how do i give you more money <laughs> you know what I mean? How do I, I? I'm giving you all this attention. Like that's how you really, like, take advantage of those situations when you get the the uh, cosign from a big artist. And that also falls in line with just having a hit. Period. If you have a hit, you want to already have that back catalog of like three projects that mm-hmm. people could go back and dodge into mm-hmm. and really become a fan of you and your music, yeah. like you as a person and your art like, and how it fits this. you and what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, instead of just being a fan of that one song. Mm-hmm. Because then they're like, oh, that's the hit guy. They don't really know anything about you. Right. And then just off of that hit, depending on what the song is, that might not really be the type of music that you make. It yeah. is just so happen yeah. to be the one that pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're stuck in that box. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta, you gotta have that catalog. Mm-hmm. Rich Homie Bond, he was, he was fighting that. He was fighting that because he had to hit, uh, I don't even know what that shit was called. But with the dance at the Quan and all that. Oh, who? Yeah. Who he, yeah. So. But he had mad stuff before that, bro. Rich Homie Quan. He was bro. hard yeah. before that. Yeah. He was hard before that. Because, like, but it was that and then... Wasn't Type Away before that? Yeah. Yeah, Type Away before Boy. that. Um, yeah. Rick, the, all the Rich Gang stuff was before that, him and Thug. But it was like, he had a solid-ass fan base. He had a big-ass hit. He got the attention and the cosigns and all that shit. 
Yeah, I think Woo was like his last one. Though. It was. Mm-hmm. It was. Yeah, because like, like, like it, will, it will fuck you up if you don't. Yeah, because like after the Rich Gang stuff and the he had Lifestyle with um mm-hmm. Thug, um my nigga, and then after that he um fell off, but then Woo put him back up and then he couldn't get back after that. Mm-hmm. So he had he had a good run before that. He he did, but it's like I'm looking at it like once again it comes like sustainability. It's how his trajectory and how what he was doing. He should still be like talked about crazy, like but because he he got he got the big song he got the cosigns, and it was just like but he did it in a way where it wasn't true to himself like he hated like he hated he hated those type of songs yeah so you shouldn't be doing them because now you just fucked up your whole back catalog because people don't want to hear that yeah they want to hear this yeah. so that's that's why she we always talk about back being back authentic up, yeah his back catalog is hard yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. I stopped, I, no lie, I stopped listening to him once I heard, ooh. I swear, I was like, you making this? Nah, I'm good, bro. I fuck with that shit you was doing before. Yeah. And he, and there's there's artists that have his sound now, too. He, he's mm-hmm. had a heavy influence on Atlanta, definitely. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, he was saying, like, he was like, now you said, you said, like the whole song. Like mm-hmm. you said, him and Thug yeah. were a great tandem. Mm-hmm. They were a great tandem. And, and that's the difference between, like, like Thug could get the Drake co-sign and, like, and, He'll have the ill catalog behind him that sounds like the same stuff he's been doing, yeah, yeah. and it's like <laughs> it, it's only going to benefit him because he was staying true to himself and his and who he is. Yeah. When once you go once you go against yourself, then you can't you can't win. It's tough. So it's like it, you gotta just stay stay true to yourself, stay true to your brand, and you you be straight. That yeah, work every to day, man. So when the opportunity comes, you got that catalog, like we said. Yeah. Because that's the hard part. Actually, that's actually that's the fun part. I I wouldn't even know I'm creating music. Dion, <laughs> <laughs> personally, I feel like the hard part, like he said, like not not falling subject to what's popping or whatever. Mm-hmm. Staying true to you and staying true to who you are as an artist and finding that first because you're not an artist right off like the bat. Like mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta make sure you are diligent with that. And finding who you are within that, I think that's the hardest part to be completely honest. And then once when you get that, the rest is easy. The rest it should the rest should be easy because it, you should just trust yourself and let yourself flow with it. And what feels right should feel right, and that's what you should put out. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. be trying to figure it out or trying to calculate. Yeah. Okay, if I say this part, no, mm-hmm. that's then it's not organic because it can still turn out to be good, yeah. but it's not going to be the impact of it is not going to be what you want it to be. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel that and. It's, it's it's part of building that, making your authenticity a part of your routine. Like yes, making yes, sure yes. like and that that's what makes it second nature. Like, yes, how I'm able to talk about music and certain stuff. Like, I live it, <laughs> and so it's like I I don't I don't really need to research and do all right. this extra stuff to right. try to be something I'm not. Right, uh, like I'm literally like I don't gotta I don't gotta do shit. It's part of me. Like I can just be myself, and that's what's dope about it like that's what makes the content dope yeah facts facts all right so one thing i did want to talk about coming into the episode was this whole because we did talk about the jlx project last week mm-hmm. yeah this whole joe button podcast and <laughs> jlx situation man how y'all feeling about y'all gotta put me on game on that all right so did you listen to joe Bun's last his pod last week if you on the album i did not i did not yeah you did right and nelson you yeah. did i'm assuming yeah so pretty much, Joe didn't like the album. <laughs> he hated it flat out. He was hating it. He said he hated it. So but he the reasoning was because it was pretty sort of what I said last week. But what did you say? Was it the whole Jay Z thing? Not not having mm-hmm. him? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't say I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I liked it. No, no, I mean like not, I was not putting that. him on a like having his name on it. Yeah. Right. Like he's trying to present it as a debut album. It's not your debut album. You have the greatest rapper all time on it. That's a cheat code. Mm-hmm. Like it puts you in a different category. People have already been giving you this crazy praise just because yeah. Exhibit C. So that's thought, one of the best hip hop songs all the time. But facts. like, what other music you got? And then ten years later, you drop a debut and it's not really a debut. But anyways, that's what I was saying. But I said it much better than Joe said. <laughs> you, know, you know how Joe goes. Yeah. He's pretty much just screaming. Yeah. It's black and white. Did yeah. he? Did he? Did he pretty much say like he, he pretty felt felt like it was like a cop out? 
that he did. Yeah. That that's he was saying his ass. Like, he was just screaming, like, nigga, you got watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then nigga, he, you got watched on like, yeah. your own debut album. Exactly. Nigga, you're, nigga, you're no, I'm not giving you, like, your ass. Like, that's, that's tough. Man. Yeah, he was saying, he, he, was, he was saying, like, the public may not know, but as a rapper, he can tell that Jay watched him on the album. Just lyrically. I mean, we kind of, we kind of pin it at, the, I'm not trying to stick up for Joe's words, but I definitely did. I know we all kind of collectively said, yeah, like, oh, we definitely know oh, who got him. And it was oh, clear and cut. Off. It was clear and cut that he got him. Right. I wasn't going to say wash, though. Yeah, I think nah, Jay, like, he, he, right. nah, he didn't wash. He, he didn't, didn't wash. He didn't wash. He but he clear and cut was. He, he, yeah, was he performed better. Hey, Hancho. But, <laughs> so yeah, I think. Rory and Maul kind of said, "What were they saying?" I can't remember. You remember what Rory they, and Maul? They, they, they were saying they were saying the same thing politely. They were saying the same thing politely, and mm -hmm. then like it just was to a point where like Joe was just like cut black and white, like no, like as from coming from an artist standpoint, this shit is ass. Like Jeez. no, I'm not hearing that because wow. he, he basically got the cheek because they were saying he gave they gave him the uh, I'm trying to think of the words he used, but like he, none of the rules applied. To hit to Jay, like he just got all of a sudden he just gets goaded into this yeah, I do agree this category. That. Like you didn't you didn't have to drop an album, you didn't have to do this, and you automatically get this goat status. He's like, no, yeah, fuck I, that, that shit was I ass. definitely <laughs> like I just wouldn't have said it the way you said it. <laughs> I, I, but coming but from Joe, projects, yeah, coming from yeah. Joe, like I get like I get why he was he was going at him like that. Like right. Joe put in work for the longest, got jerked by labels. He literally. Went the went through the hardest route at from a coming from an artist creative standpoint, and he's been one of the best lyricists for a right, while. But you can't take your your madness and that out on another nigga. That yes. but that's what Joe do. <laughs> but that doesn't make it right, bro. Like, but you know him. That doesn't make it right, though. You know him, though. I know, but I'm just, so it's like I'm just saying. That's why I'm just, I'm just, but I'm just saying. I get it. I like that's, that's, that's a fact. It's just, it definitely, definitely you can't, you can't, right. you can't put that's, but that's wrong, bro. You gotta learn how to grow, dog. You're a grown ass yeah. man. You need to grow. I mean, it's not personal that, against him, though. I mean, he be making shit. But see, that, he no, makes shit. Thing is, no, other people make shit personal, bro. Because yeah. the, the only the only people that he goes off about this like this are artists that he actually likes. If he doesn't care about the artist, bro, he he's not gonna bash their project or even put this much passion into it. If he's putting this much passion into his response, how his feelings towards your projects, it's because he actually likes you as an artist. And Pete, he has a platform of a million people listening to you twice a week. If I'm saying your shit is good or I'm saying it's ass, people a million people are gonna, just, are gonna two million people a week are gonna listen and like gonna hear your name, gonna hear everything, and have to look for the either gonna look for themselves or they're gonna be talking about you. Yeah. So you so look at that from the business side. Yeah. That's that's him still showing that he fucked with his artist because he's still gonna talk yeah. about the project whether he likes it or not. It's like they say good attention or bad attention. It's like there's no good publicity. There's no such thing as good publicity and there's no such thing as bad publicity. So would you rank know. would you rank Joe Button know. over Jay Electronica rapper all time? This guy dude, like just all not time? fuck all that. This, this all time? Rap. Uh purpose like I would I would intentionally put like Joe Button here and then I would like just because of this I would put Jay Electronica behind him. Gee, just know. one spot. I will say, but yo, but I've like, never really listened to J. Like except Exhibit C. I've listened to him, but this it's, album. I can oh, I can count my favorite J. Like songs on one maybe like two hands, and he doesn't he doesn't even have that many songs. I say he doesn't have that many. Though. He doesn't have that many songs. So it's like when it comes to compare to somebody like Joe Budden, who has ridiculous amounts of catalogs. Mm -hmm. I've heard of him since forever. I'm not like I can't. I'm not. I've never been in like a hype beast. Like I'm not prescribing to. He makes one song, greatest artist, rapper ever, and he just gets knighted. Yeah, I, nah. I'm like, <laughs> bro, man, I've been waiting for the JLX album since fucking 2014. Bro, been bro. seeing him, him that stuff, like, literally sitting in, my, in front of my computer, like, yo, I'm hoping this dude drop, like. No, but bro, it's my problem. Niggas like, acting like Exhibit C was his only first song. Like, bro, he had shit out before that. That's the only it one wasn't on that level. That's, it's, Exhibit C is clearly his best song. Okay, yeah, but... People acting like, oh, that was his first song, and then everyone was like, he's the girl. Like, nah, he had shit out. Mm. What? How many more projects did he have before that? Yeah, like two, one, one or two mixtapes. Like maybe. What he got co-signed? He got he had co he was co-signed from the gate. He was co-signed from the gate. Did he have that J stamp early too? 
Uh, he was rocking with Badu. Bro, he was with Dilla. He was with yeah, like the he was, he was with some like real. But he's definitely a go for having a baby with Badu. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> yeah, lost so. Bro, he said he has a hard drive of like a thousand Dilla beats. Damn, a thousand. Dude. All right, so now we're gonna. Jay Alex response, he tweeted, I never heard your albums, bro. I love this response. I love bless your career as a journalist. <laughs> I love this that was response. Quiet. I love it. First of all, oh, uh, all right, so this is a couple days ago, a video surfaced of Jay Electronica <laughs> backstage at a Joe Button concert. Talking about how amazing yeah, he was. Yeah, he was like, yo, Joe is one of the best lyricists in the game. Like, Jeez. That's why I'm here, because I'm yeah. with He always spitting that real. The real is one of the best yeah. lyricists, the best lyricists. Backstage MC. at Joe's show saying that. So that's, And when they hear <laughs> stuff like lot. that coming from <laughs> the one of these goats, Damn. nah, fam. Like, and then that's like, I respect you. You put the consciousness in your bars. You put your knowledge in your bars. Like I respect that to the utmost. Like I respect, it, but like live your shit, B. Like mm -hmm. no, no, now, now don't come when somebody say, "Oh, I'm not really feeling that." Don't come. Oh, I never knew this nigga. Like cut it out. Now, now, now you're questioning your integrity. Mm -hmm. Now I'm questioning your bar, like your whole catalog, bro, because yeah. you're standing on your word. So Dion, now how do you feel about that response, knowing that it was a lie? I mean, I didn't see that video, and if that shit's true, then damn. But <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it's true. We both yeah. see it. It's on. It's, it's on there. But originally, I liked this response. It was just you know, I've not, I haven't heard your albums, but bless your career. What you're doing now. Nah, he you know, scared. and I believe they said well, there's tweets where like whenever something was going on about his album, like as far as him promoting it, he was always adding like the Joe Button podcast and Roy. So it would be like all the people that were involved in the album from like Rock Nation, I'm assuming, and then he would add them. Mm -hmm. This is prior to like reviewing the album and stuff. So he knows how important their podcast is mm -hmm. and how big of a role they play in the hip hop community. So mm -hmm. I don't know, man. that's why it's like, and stuff like that is, I, I'm gonna look at you sideways. Yeah. It's not the first time Jay Lex said some dumb shit where I'm looking at him sideways. When he uh when he was mad at Kendrick, what, what was, he was he was coming at Kendrick crazy. He was in a he was so like, after control. It wasn't after control. It was it was around that time. It was like a little bit after. He wasn't it wasn't about that though. It was like he was in like a rave. He was chilling on uh some. It was like it was like a Vine or like video blogs website. Mm -hmm. Uh, this nigga was just like he's like, yeah, talking about who his favorite artist was. Da, 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 da. He's like, oh yeah, uh, I fuck with uh, people in TDE. I fuck with Schoolboy. Uh, I'm like Kendrick, Kendrick, okay. He not, he not all that though. He not, I'm not like he. They be gassing. He not, he not all that good. But the like, what? he was downplaying. It was just like, it was like, bro. And then he, but he was trying to big up Absol. Like, oh, Abs, but Absol, no, nah, fuck him. He, he the best in the group. Blah, 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 blah. And, but then, but then he went back to like shitting on Kendrick. And it was just like, how can you ever shit? It's like, bro, Yo, so why you? Yeah, hi. So Dion, do you think Kendrick is better than Jayla? Yeah, by far. <laughs> it is just like it's like, bro. I like. I, <laughs> I just have to make sure. <laughs> I get what he was saying, but it's like it's like like fam. No, like you can't you can't big up everybody. You can't that shit on they lead they lead man. Cause I just hate when people shit on other like like we were saying. I forgot what up. I always do this, but <laughs> I remember I remember the moments yeah. where we were talking about where our community just stay shitting on ourselves. You know, like just it was like a pop episode. Yes. Yeah. Bro, like that shit has to. St I hate that shit. Like I've always, obviously, it's been something that's been a norm with our like community, with our like, just in general with the nation and everything. We always just competitive in general. But yeah. I don't. It's just we gotta. Like even if you don't like it, like that's why I always say, even if you don't like something, man, like let it be. No, I'm not saying don't say that you don't like it, but then just like let that be. Don't have you don't have to go drag it and go in on it, like. Right. Chill out, like just say what you yeah. gotta say. Yeah. Say okay, it wasn't for me. This is not what I liked, or and then move on. Like you Ab, like it, cool. Ab said like, it the best. He said, so stupid. "Hate when your OG supposed to be a God." This standing mm -hmm. next to King Kunta feeling like Toby. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Who said that? Ab? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a like, tough vibe. That's a tough vibe. Sure. Yo, he like that's just real shit. Like, and I feel you. I feel you on like the whole like. Not necessarily. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, with, I'm mainly, I'm I'm mainly and I mainly mean that with us, like yeah, no. us as a black community, bro. Like I think everybody like, need to kind of change that. Bro. I feel like, like if we don't to change be... that. Nobody, people are not gonna be growing and 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 
taken off the way how they're supposed to just because and that's happened with a lot of people within our community like because people just talk down on them it's like oh you're discouraging them you're discouraging the whole you know what i mean i'm not saying that uh, i think we need it i think there needs to be like a black delegation like round table because like i'm i'm a, i'm in full support of lyrical warfare like period like like if you got beef oh let's 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 get it out on wax. Let's get it. Yeah, but like when it comes right. to like in person, like okay, now it's like oh, now we gotta fight in the street type shit. Okay, let's let's figure out something else. Yeah. That's on like if you got some frustration, you want to get out, get it out in bars. Yeah, like, like none of that. Y'all in the same profession, y'all can just compete that way. And then yeah, y'all and it's have like, anything but y'all should be able, y'all should be able to do that. And, but sit at the table with each other and like okay, do we what issues do we really got? Do mm-hmm. we really need to like keep this going? Is it really like that big of an right. issue? Right. Right. It needs to, there's just no structure within that how we confront shit. And that's 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 an issue between like in our culture period, because right. like just as just being black, like we don't our culture, we don't keep our mouth shut on certain like if we don't fuck with something, we gonna yeah. a lot of times we gonna let it be known. Right. But in European right. culture, like they something they do a lot is they go along to get along, they shut their mouth even though this person may be talking out their ass, but mm-hmm. they gonna shut up and let them let them do it because that's just how the power rankings go. We don't, we don't do that. And Yo, and then even when we like something, we like keep it on the low. We don't let people know, or we yes. don't even like show love. Like, say you like an artist, people don't show love <laughs> and openly support that artist, nice. which I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, yes. mm-hmm. And then like when we like something, we try and keep it on the low. Like we don't want to put people on. We we want to keep it just for ourselves. Like you said before. Yeah. We, we don't give the flowers when they're here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and that's whack. That's so whack. I hate that shit, too. Part, I, I, I think part of that is a, that's a us thing, too. But it's like, it's it's a yeah. regional, too. They yeah. got to cut you up, but not even when they're here, when they need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, it's, it's it like, a lot of that is regional, too, depending on where you're from. Because, like, in New York, we go to parties and shit, and everybody just trying to chill and look cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, just leaning back. I'm other play. other cities like niggas be in the club like turning up like really turning up like they don't play local music at our club and shit all like that. In Ohio, when I was in Cleveland, all you heard was local music. You didn't hear nothing else because they play their shit. Yeah. And like in yeah, Oakland, in Oakland, people people it's artists from Oakland who are popping and we 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 will never know them. Because they have a full sustainable life in Oakland because they fan base people buy their music. And that's going back to once again what we were saying before. Where like that's why we give um Griselda so much props for like you said, blowing that door with a twelve gauge, you know, because it's like with the we don't have we don't have that culture. The Oakland, yeah. like the we said, the Cali's, Atlanta's, Miami, Florida, you know what I mean? Like these places that are pop, we don't have that. You know what I mean? So and it, that's that's how we gotta create. It's changing now. It's changing. Yeah, we just gotta. And the thing is, it's like it's not. It's never gonna be here until you create it. And that's 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 one thing I, I've just learned from just watching the music scene evolve in Buffalo. Like, we, I remember when Buffalo had zero local music scene. Mm-hmm. Period. Like, yeah, I'm, I've been lucky enough to to grow up around dudes where I've seen them really transforming the music scene here to make it. Yeah. A, People getting venues, people doing shows. Like nobody, I haven't seen a local artist at Town Ballroom until Westside. You know what I'm saying? Never. Like they don't. They don't like. New York is a, like racism within itself is just like a big plays a big part. Mm-hmm. But it's like that shit don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if this person don't like. Like nigga, my money is green. What the fuck you talking about? Like we gonna kick this door down. When it, we go and kick this door now, it's gonna get kicked down. It's like whether you you gonna be behind it trying to keep it up and you are gonna fall on your ass or you gonna open it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like we gotta have that resilience and whatever, like just to keep fighting for what we need and knowing what we need. And we gotta so, do it together, like Dave was saying. Man. Yeah, create that round table, like create that round table. We can only get so far individually, yeah. or just yeah. or just in our separate groups <laughs> or neighborhoods, like yeah. as a community. We can get so much more done just coming. Hell yeah! Through. I'm like, shout out to people Whatever like whatever craft uh, and space you in, whether that's music, sports, right? Mm-hmm. Shout out to like some of the younger dudes in the city too. Uh, good neighbors, like they got their little collectives, like Kane yeah. Wave. Uh, what's the red? What Metro Boys? Um, um, Method Boys. Method Boys. Method Boys. My fault. But like, yo, like they they have like their own little connect collective, mm-hmm. and it's like. 
we they move they move together in a way and it's like they they, yeah, they know, got the help each other aspects too because they got the um big visuals and photography side with creative connect mm -hmm. they got a little dead boy that do like the artwork and the different stuff so mm -hmm. yeah, they doing their thing like yo that shit is shit like that is huge like mm -hmm. taking those steps forward to making something different and really like embracing each other type shit so word shout out shout out to this fucking city that's a fact. Love it. Queen City, man. Six, baby. Queen City. Uh, so, yeah. Final takes on the Joe Button J Electronics situation. Dave. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, mean I, kinda, I, I pretty much I said enough. <laughs> I don't have much else to say about all that. Is that off? Why? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I break on my break. Yeah, man. I mean, I like that one. I think he was spitting. Obviously, he's not fucking Jay Z. He's not gonna out rap Jay Z. We all know right, that. Right. So for him, I think he actually was spitting. So I like the album. No, I I I, I fuck with the album, but I definitely see where Jay, where uh, Joe was coming from. So uh, I just said like I and I I try not to. I definitely try not to look at it as a as an album like. It's uh, look at it as a political statement. Like he don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> but like even even Joe even Joe said the same shit. He was just like yeah. he don't look at. Uh, he said he don't look at To Pimp a Butterfly as an album. Mm -hmm. He looks at it as just like a moment in time, like an art piece in a moment in time. Yeah, like, it's, that's it's different. Yeah, and that's that's how he real. What he said, he was like, because if I viewed it as an album, if I viewed it as music, I have a different take on it. I'm like, bro. Yeah. No matter what you view it as, that shit is fire though. He's basically saying that if he viewed it as like an album and not an art piece. That he wouldn't be as hot on it. That's what he, that's that's what he was implying. That's it, that's, he just said, and he he got he. That's his prerogative. You know what I'm saying? I feel him. I feel him in in, in, in certain aspects of it because it was a lot of it was a lot of uh, like uh, Nation of Islam bars. Like it was a lot of words. Like a lot of things pertaining to like the the Muslim faith. So it was like if you don't necessarily align with that, okay, yeah, it's not musically. This is not the best musical album. It's it's he's he's man, big. It's, it's man, I don't know. Listening to it, bro, it's it's it feels great, bro. No funny, like it's great vibes, bro. That album's dope, dog. Like even even if you don't like listen to the lyrics, like you just listen to the vibes of it and you know the beat and whatnot. Like it's it's wavy, bro. And one it's point wavy. I did agree with that I think Parks and Joe was saying was that the out like the beats on the album they weren't the best. And it was kind of like it was kind of sloppy, but then Rory brought up a point. He was like, insane, <laughs> "Nah, I, I definitely agree with that." But I think I think it was done purposely and it fit mm -hmm. the album, so that's why I didn't mind it. I thought it fit. And I mean, it's Rory more raw. Saying. It's more raw, yeah. like of a beat. Like it's not as engineered, I guess, and polished. Yeah, and that's but that's that's, that's why like, Parks feel yeah. that way because Parks and Parks an engineer. Yeah. But that I mean, so I don't think that, that that should discredit. He did the quality of a beat though. Yeah. Like he definitely wanted it to be that way. I just stand differently on it. That's why I wasn't talking. Because <laughs> I know it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's it, it, no, it is what it is. Like that shit is that energy exchange is good because it's like we have to like as a culture like we gotta learn to like this person has a different opinion than me. Yeah. That shit don't mean I got beef with this nigga. Exactly. Right. It's bro. like no, I didn't. Exactly. No, I didn't like that. I didn't like the project. Right. And it's cool, like it's cool. Like I don't like I still fuck with you as a human. I I, I wasn't with like you as an artist. I just yeah. wasn't doing this. I just wasn't doing this. this. I'll wait for I'll be here for the next one. Did he state that within the interview? Yeah. Not he, interview. I mean he not let him he let him know that like, he still fuck with him. He never said so okay. He said he said I still like I still rock with him. But he even said he'd do a pull up with him. Yeah. Why would you you're not gonna do a pull up with somebody that you don't like? That's just him saying, Oh yeah, I'll do a pull up with him. What's gonna be the questionary during that pull up though? What's gonna be the question? Where the right fuck now? have you been for the past ten years? That's what I'm saying, bro. So how, is that, so how is that somebody really saying, "Oh, I really fuck with you"? Like you because try to put him on that person. Is me asking you? He I wouldn't mean, have him on his right? platform on, if he didn't bro. like him. That costs spade a spade. That's come on, bro. He That's wouldn't have him on his platform if he didn't like him. It's his platform. He owns his platform. That's the thing. It's like every artist that he's had on there is an artist that he fucks with. What 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 Joe wanted to hear was from an artist. And what have you been doing the past ten years? Mm. All he talked, all Jay Elect talked about was Nation of Islam, a, a few bars, regular bars, and just like what oh, people gonna judge you. I mean, I don't. He, but Joe, Joe is the who he is. 
I want to know what you've been doing, like, my no, buddy, like, on a daily. The artist picks what he puts yeah. in. Yeah, like, who the hell? So if you're doing an interview, so if you're doing an interview, I should you be able to ask you about bro? your life shit. Telling somebody, oh, what you've been doing these past 10 years, bro, who can What? This is it. This is it. This ain't my life. Bryson, you ain't Bryson. Bryson. You ain't no, no, no. When Bryson releases his album, like, he has not released for like, four oh. years, what are you going to want to hear? Huh? When Bryson releases an album, which he hasn't released Serenity? for four years, Serenity, bro, what are you going to want to hear? Music, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna hear. Wait, he's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to, I'm gonna want to hear good music yeah, within the album because, for one, I'm already a fan of Bryson Tiller. It's not like I'm like, oh, I've never heard Bryson Tiller before, but I heard this guy's coming out with an album. No, I know what he, what type of music he already puts out. And you want to you hear him put out heartbreak shit? Whatever, music whatever, music, whatever, because whatever he's going through, like we already went through before. Yeah, he's in a, we he's in a lovely relationship. It looks like he, he has, a, he just had a new kid. Yeah, and he, so, he so. transformed from that point, right? Right. All Joe is saying, like, I want to hear what you've transformed from, because his old, it sounds like some of his older stuff. Like he's rapping about the same content. What have you been doing in this in this gap of time where you haven't been making music? Put it in the music. That's all he's. He wants to know, and if he's interviewing him, I feel like you have a right to ask that question. Yo, yo, what have you been doing the past years? What's it like to date a Rothschild? He didn't only said, yeah, one bar about date. Fam, this is the wealthiest family in the entire world. <laughs> like, fam, tell me about what is it like being in a room with her uncle, her dad, her bringing you home. You're living in a billionaire, a multi-billionaire's house. Tell me about this. I you have know. a kid with Erica Badu, and you 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 left Erica Badu for a multi-billionaire weird white lady. Mm -hmm. Bam! Put fill me in, cause your music ain't saying it. I, that's real. That's man, real I, shit. Man, I, man, I, man. We can go. We can go. I feel as though I could go on. I'll, 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 Joe with him, I've always had a problem with his deliveries and the way he says stuff. Like my mom always says, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yep. Yeah. So in that point, you know, I disagree with it. But I don't necessarily disagree with everything you were saying. I definitely don't think the album was trash. I don't think Hove washed him. I do think Hove had a better performance on the album. Let me ask you this. If Joe Biden was with Jay-Z on this album instead of Jay Lyon, mm. you think it would be a better project? Yeah. Wow. Each month this year been fucking insane. Like, yeah. well, first of all, the first of the World War Three memes. First three months, bro. Kobe and Pop, Pop Smoke died. Then the fucking Rony came to town. Yeah, bro. Twenty twenty is acting the fuck Shit. up. Fucking aliens, right. aliens coming in fucking April. What Jay Electronica say in the? <laughs> he said, like the scripture says, earthquakes, fires, and plagues. Return of the dead or some shit like that. <laughs> some shit. That's I that, had, it was a fucking earthquake in Nevada or some shit. Y'all right? need to go listen to that Jay Luck though. Yo, <laughs> it's next, bro. We about to be seeing niggas back from the dead. Yeah, send a Bible and everything, bro. We gonna see. We gonna see. It's gonna be interesting. No label the pod. You heard it here first. <sighs> Zombies and aliens coming. Look out next. for that playlist. <laughs> look out for that. Yeah, playlist, look, look out for that army playlist, man. For on sure. Monday. Uh. New episode. Oh yeah, shout out to everybody that's been sharing, man, liking, oh, subscribing yeah. to the channel. We just hit 100 subscribers. Woo so shout out to I all know. the subscribers, man. They say the first 100 is the highest, man, so hopefully oh, yeah. shoot yeah. up from there. Snowball effect this thing. Let's go, let's go. Big fat. Let's run it up. Yeah, got anything else to, anything else to say, man? Everybody stay safe. Run it up. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Live it a pop. Episode 17. We out. Peace. Peace. She watching me like a nigga is